And I'm Kariva Devine. Our big story tonight, a gruesome discovery in the Far West Valley. As a woman out on a desert trail finds a human skull and other remains in Buckeye. This happened yesterday afternoon near Southern Avenue and Johnson Road. And while the county works to identify the remains, many wonder, could this be local geologist Daniel Robinson, who was last seen in 2021? Team 12's Chase Golightly spoke with Daniel's father about this possibility. David Robinson has never given up on the search for his 25 year old son, but this potential development is a situation he's been in before. And we do want to warn our viewers the photos you're about to see may be disturbing. Out in the middle of nowhere, a sight no one would want to find. It was absolutely freaky. A human skull tucked away on the side of this dirt trail in Buckeye discovered by Penny Buffington. It was um, not a pleasant sight. Buffington was out in this remote area of Buckeye, ATVing with her family. She tells us at first she didn't recognize what she was looking at until she got closer. That's a skull. That's a human skull. She then noticed other remains close by, along with clothes scattered on the trail. Buffington trying to connect the dots on who they could belong to. One of the first thoughts was, is it Daniel? She's talking about 25-year-old Daniel Robinson, a geologist working in Buckeye. He was last seen on June 23rd, 2021. His car found days later abandoned in a ravine with no sign of Robinson. It led to massive search efforts all over the area. Buffington says she's a frequent volunteer. So when she saw this, her first call was to 911 and then Robinson's father. It's really hurtful and scary. It always takes me for a shock every time. But this is all too familiar now for David Robinson. Uh, we found human remains, um, human skull, and some other remains in the past. It's happened twice, and both times the DNA did not match Daniel's, which did bring him a sense of relief. With my faith, I just really want to believe and, and feel that my son is still alive. Where Daniel was last seen is 12 miles away from where the new remains were found. Still, there is that possibility. So that's still concerning to me. Now Robinson and Buffington are waiting for the remains to be identified while the search for Daniel continues. I'm still going to fight for him. Um, I have not given up. In Buckeye, Chase Lightly, 12 News.